Hi, welcome. This is a follow-up video of the one I've just made and it's about um, starting your own Arch Linux distribution and what's happening in the back end. It's, it's quite daunting, it's quite complex and needs some explanation. So what we've done in the previous video is cleaning up a monthly cleanup script here that cleans up our repo. So let's take a look at the results before we show you what needs to be done on the server side. So the properties are now at this point in time much lower, 109 megabytes you compare with the other video. Don't know it by heart, but it's really, really um, uh, well minimal. So property here is 231 megabyte. And here the repo testing, it's almost nothing, 28.4 kilobytes. And the repo ISO is also a little bit normal. So, oh sorry, that's still the repo testing, uh, repo ISO, that's it, and then properties. So it is always a mount, and that's normal because it's the same amount as this guy. So the system tries to keep, keep track of every change, and it keeps all the changes sorry, in, in um, this .git. So the size of this folder is going to be it, at the beginning, at the start, the same as this one. But if you start updating daily, then the git is going to expand and expand and expand and expand. And this, of course, we keep uh, low. I mean, we clean it up. Previous versions, we will delete them. But it's the old, all these previous versions are in here in this dot .git. So this is just accumulating data and data and data. And that's okay if it's an, uh, another kind of a GitHub. But this is just a packaged GitHub and it really don't need to go back a month ago to, to, to fetch a package. We just make a new build and a new package. And we do not look in the past, so always look in the future. That's the difference between the other uh, GitHubs. So that's um, that's done. We've um, updated everything. Now, like I said, it, the story did not end there. And I, well, it took, I think, three quarters of an hour or something like that to, to get things working on the end of the server. So maybe before I go into the server side, I show you also how Arch Linux is working and maybe you can use a similar setup. It's all up to you. But the pacman.d, let's get a look at that. Like this. So pacman.d. We have in our Arch Linux list, the mirror list, we have two things. We have the Arch Linux seed host. Let's open up seed host, Arch Linux seed host. Okay, that's this one. So just typed it in and we have here the repos. So we have a repo one, two, three, four, five repos. That's available. And that's where we get the stuff from if we do update. If we do an update in our computer, there are lines in here, which we can install. Whoop, done, everything installed. Let's go back up. It's the repo testing that's open. So it's coming from here. The repo is here. That's the repo, repo third party, repo third party, and the wallpapers, submicro. And everything is then um, up to date and it's coming from here in first line. So if, if, if this website is down, and it does happen when with every computer and every website and every server, they sometimes go down due to external, internal reasons. And then we get the second line. So the second line kicks in and we can have a look at that as well. So I've moved that to, where did I put it? my browser here it is so we go to article linux github and then we find something right okay so here we have the article linux repo and again the repo third party and you see here this monthly cleanup that's the thing and there's just one commit we've just started making our article linux iso it seems since there's just one 
commit at all. But it's like I said, it's unimportant to see the history for these things. So everything is cleaned up and there's just one comment of commit to these guys. And of course the submicron, uh, the wallpapers I haven't changed those. They, have, they will not change its, its status quo. They just stay uh, like they are. So we have four important repos that have been updated. And the thing is, and that's important for you to know, we update our repos first to GitHub. So first here. So if anything goes wrong, and that's important, if anything goes wrong, well, you won't notice it because this is the first line. Seed host is the first line. That one is the one that's going to kick in first. So that's a good uh, setup in the sense that it's, it's uh, safer for the users. We don't want to work in the GitHub where uh, when, when something goes wrong and it's always possible with scripting and, and testing that for some reason you break it then nothing will will show up on the community side on the user side because we are putting things on here in the second line and we haven't changed anything yet there so for the end user nothing changed so first you make sure that everything your scripts work you put everything on this thing here and then you can say okay I have uh, successfully changed my repo you see here updated one hour ago updated one hour ago so everything is now up to date the next thing is to get this stuff to here to our Linux repo third-party ISO sub micro testing and this uh, well took actually a lot of work afterwards that we are now going to see so basically that's the setup so that's important for you to to figure it out and uh, to know that uh, to understand what's going on in the back end of uh, Arc Linux what we have available on our uh, folder in here says create the ND5 checklist in AAG so there are some some commands there and this is one of them the result of that command is just that you can actually check if what you downloaded is correct so the md5 sum is something i have explained in other videos and this thing can be checked you download it you see what number you get you see what number i give you if it's the same it's exactly bit per bit the same thing it has not been tempered with has not been changed now the thing that um Wanted, what did I want to say? Okay, so then there's another one, the AAG, since it's still empty, you can't show that, I can't show you that, but it's the same script that's going to make, and the ISOs that are in AAG is going to make a, um, well, a code. Well, maybe why not just include everything, and then you see what it does, like this one. Oops, I just now ran the scripts. Now, no problem, just let it be and it will see, you'll see here that it's going to, to run. The MD5 checklist is restarted, restarted and once it's everything, when, when all the scripts are finished, you'll see a second line, a third line, a fourth line, a fifth line and everything will be there in a while. So let's pause the video and wait for the script to run. I wanted to explain you, of course, what's inside it. So, and that had to do a nano, nano, create, etc. And then it will be okay. Let's take a little break. All right, break is over. And here's the results. So the script ran again. And of course, it delivers you the same, exact the same information. And that's cool. So, I just wanted to do nano and show you the code and see if you can use it or reuse it for something else. And that's the code. So, with FileZilla, you can actually move things from A to B, so from your computer to the server. And I'm going to say here, go inside this folder, that folder, that folder, that folder, and find something in depth one. It's a file 
with the name Arc Linux with something behind it, execute then a um, command and if I have some and re well this means well check everything all, all of them so fill them in whatever you find fill it in here and execute then and five some with Arch Linux uh, ISO and with Arch Linux B ISO etc and then afterwards put everything inside a file and that's it exit one done so that's basically what it is um, wrong button indeed Control X is better so that's that and then we definitely need to needed to make a new script which is called now the monthly update monthly cleanup remove clone, clone github it's a very long thing uh, but um, that's the one I need if I want to um, make a cleanup every month so remember what we've done already the github is cleaned locally we've put it online on github now I need to get the github stuff from um, well to Seathost. I'll need to clone the things that are on GitHub on Seathost. That's basically what I'm doing in here. So go inside this particular folder, then some counts to say GitHub 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then remove it first. First, I'm gonna really use a clean install screen and cleaning up my, my blackboard, so to speak. Delete everything first so there are no leftovers no no problems with mixing in and all that and merging problems problems and issues no be gone and then git clone a new one and repo this repo repo third party repo iso and repo testing as you see the submicron is hashtagged out i don't care about the wallpapers they are, will remain the same so this script was not there, I needed to make it to, well, make it more efficient and uh, so we can have an easy monthly cleanup. And you'll see things change and uh, I've made a little, I'm gonna make a, a, um, a picture for it. Uh, and so you see, of, of, I can show you that already. I think it's already synced on my computer, my G drive. And in sync, here it is, and um, that one. So the error you see here is the thing that was syncing at that point in time. So when the script ran, the script we're talking about, this script, when this ran, at some point in time, you remove it, right? Here it says remove. And at that particular time, if you ask an update, then it says fail to retrieve because the it has been uh, deleted and it's uploading at that point in time or, or git pulling at that point in time. So you see here this uh, image on the Arclinus repo. A little bit later, it's on the Submicron, but at that point in time, repo is synced, git pulled, and so that's okay at that point in time. So if you see something similar next time, it's because we are cleaning up, right? So that's... Um, what we did at the backend story so it's it's all connected we need to figure out elements ways to to figure out the well the easy way that the workflow and i rather not do things manually every every single time so that's why we have these scripts so nano update is something i do daily and what's that then daily is in the sense when I put, put a package online, the package goes to GitHub. So GitHub is, is the fallback. So it means every 15 minutes or 30 minutes, we synchronize the GitHub with the seat host. So if I don't do this, I don't, if I don't run this, it will be uh, started automatically, which is an entirely other tutorial. But um, I can do it manually as well because I want to test the package immediately, for instance. And I do this thing. So I update dos.sh and I run that thing and it's going to go in a particular folder, going to say git pull me everything from the Arch Linux repo, git pull me everything from the repo third party, from the repo ISO, from the repo submicron, and that's it. All the, I, the githubs are there. One, two, three, four. 
I'm thinking about third party. I should think I should go down, I suppose. And here is the testing. So one, two, three, here's the third party. Okay, fine. So all of them are there. So five repos. Okay. So that's something I run as well from time to time. And that's what happens in the back end. There's lots of more things to do. And that I you only need to do once, of course. Once it's set up, you can't you can forget it. But there's a lot of things that happened actually when moving in January, February to seed host, we had to figure lots of things out. It's just more than what we deliver you guys. It's a lot of maintenance behind the screens and WordPress websites and, and these file management things, making torrents. It's It takes um, more than just uh, fig figuring out how to make Arch Linux be, be stylish or make it work or theme it. It's a little bit more. So if you are inclined, still inclined to make your own Arch Linux ISO, so that's uh, where this video is going on. So arco-linux-iso.com is where we're going to put all the videos that are about making your proper distribution based on Arch Linux. All right, I am out. I hope this is interesting. It might be a little bit uh, over the top, but this thing, these things need to be done in the back end. All right, cheers.